friends. Welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. Today I am sharing with you a vintage craft that I've seen off and on my whole life, and you may have too. And what it is, is a dish towel cr uh, Christmas angel. The, uh, you know, displayed in your kitchen somewhere, and it's made with a dish towel, a dish cloth, and a hot pot holder. So let me show you what I bought yesterday. I spent $4 at the Dollar Tree because the other two parts of this come in packages of two, and the dish towels come in singles. So I bought these are red trimmed in white and I thought that kind of had a Christmas theme now the Dollar Tree has all kinds of brown and beige and blue you know whatever you know they even have you know different motifs like the little Italian chef or you know you can make this an everyday kitchen angel I'm just trying to focus mine on Christmas now the uh, the dish the dish towel will be her dress the other parts come in packages of two like I said these are the dish cloths and these are going to be her arms and then her wings are made out of pot holders. Now the pot holders I picked out were just had snowmen on the back, but it had the green, plain green back, and I'll have to cut that tag off. But these are her wings. Now that's the most expensive part of the whole project. Now you will need a couple rubber bands. You will need some ribbon to kind of tie around to, to camouflage the rubber bands. And then if you want to make a little halo or something on your angel, I just took a piece of little wire ribbon I had. I just had some little tinsel ribbon. Now, you know, you can jazz yours up as cute as you want it. Like if you made a, I thought it would be so cute to make one with those tan dish towels and, and use some burlap or some jute make it like a country angel you know because that rustic decor is so in now so there's all kinds of ways you could embellish your angel now she also comes with a little poem i've had this project in my on my to-do list for a couple years and it was dated 2013 and i thought the poem i had was kitchen of uh, christmas related but it's really not so this poem that you attach to her is just a general poem now i just printed it out and and attached it to some black cardstock that i'll show you how i attach it to her uh, whoever created this had labeled it christmas kitchen angel in your kitchen I'd love to stay to bless and guide you each new day on you and yours my wings I spread as we as you prepare your daily bread super cute you could rename this you know kitchen angel just like that and then you know I've got a few little Christmas embellishments not sure how I'm gonna use them you know if you've got some buttons or you know however you want to do it but it'll make sense to you once you see the angel and how you would like to maybe jazz her up if you had some Christmas picks or whatever. So let me go ahead and get my work table set up with the camera and get my hot glue gun heated up and then I'll show you how quick it is to create one of these little dolls. Okay, we're at the work table now and I have all my parts here and you do need three rubber bands instead of two like I previously said. I went ahead and cut the tag off of my pot holder. That will make it easier when I get ready to attach it. Now as far as your dish towel, mine was tri-folded. Yours may be folded a little different, but I had to unfold it and I'm just bringing the sides into the center and then one end is going to be significantly longer than the other at least five inches or so because once we get her made up the back part of that dish towel is not going to show but I wanted to show you how much longer I've made the front of the dish towel so this is actually the front of her dress now for my dish cloth you can do it a, a number of different ways you know you know, you could roll it on a diagonal and kind of give her pointy hands. Uh, you can roll it this way, and I could have a stripe on her all of her hands. But I prefer to roll mine this way. So you might want to play around with your dish cloth to see which way you like her arms to look. I wanted it like this because having the white ends because I thought that it kind of matched the, the tail of her, the bottom of her dress. So I'm going to leave mine like that. So just keep them in a tube, lift the front of your dress and place your arms in there. And you may have to play around with it a little bit. It's very forgiving. It's just cloth and a rubber band, so you can kind of play around till you get it just right. And so I have it like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a rubber band above the dish cloth and one below it. The one rubber band is actually making her head. And you might have to play around with it and, and kind of tuck it in and kind of make it look a little more head-like. You don't want it to look like a, looks like a Japanese maple leaf. <laughs> but just kind of play around with it in a few minutes when you get ready to put the finishing touches on it. And then gather it up under the arms. 
Just kind of keep it straight. And you're going to put a rubber band under the arms. And you don't have to get them super tight, just in long enough to keep it the, the dish towel secured at least about three times is what I've got it done. Okay, and so it's already taking a doll shape to it. All right, and so now, and so that's the reason why you made your front a little longer is so that when you do sit her down, the, the dress is a little longer. You're gonna take your little hands and you're gonna gather them up towards the, towards the front. It's gonna be covered up with ribbon anyway. And just kind of play around with her until you get her looking the way you want to. And like I said, it, it, it's no big deal if you need to take her apart and re-roll her or re-wrap her like that. Okay, now for my hot pad, if you get one like I got from the Dollar Tree, this worked out perfect because the little hanger for the pot pad was in the center of one of the sides. And so that's going to actually be my hanger for if I want to hang it on the wall or somewhere. But I probably won't hang her on the wall. I'm going to sit her somewhere. But just kind of gather it up. And the purpose of the rubber band is just to help with, you know, keeping everything in place. Because you can always cover it up with a piece of ribbon. So just kind of play around with the rubber band and the pot holder until you kind of get some wings. But if you want to hide the rubber band, you can just put a little piece of ribbon to cover it up. So it will be nice and neat and it won't show a rubber band in the back. And then I'm actually going to, I'm going to hold off in a minute before I hot glue her wings on, and I need to cover up my other rubber bands. So just take whatever ribbon you want. I'm just going to stick with white, and I'm going to tie a bow. And just play around with her, you know, just see what you have in your stash. Tie it around her neck and around her hands. piece of little wire tinsel ribbon and so I just hot glued it into a little circle and I'm going to just just do it just a little touch of hot glue on that and attach it to the top of her head even though you know her head's not perfectly round it's still it does not look weird kind of tuck it in on the sides to give it a, just a little bit more round shape all right, I went ahead and brought my little angel down because my camera died, and the only footage you missed was me hot gluing the wings to the back of her body. But here she is, the finished project. You know, you see, once I got the little halo glued on top of her head, her head looks fine. But I got her sitting on a little recipe box. So some of you may have seen one of these before, but I think she's just super cute. If you Google Kitchen Angel, you probably could come up with all kinds of different ideas. I mean, I've seen her holding little poinsettias before with more ribbons cascading down or, you know, put some little uh, things around the bow of her neck or even jazz up her wings a little more But I think she's pretty uh, I like her just the way she is hope it inspired you some way to even make an everyday kitchen angel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye